going to the Curly Free shop now. Just to make my tram. Back home, and I like to, to give my quick review of the Cruelty Free Shop that's in Melbourne. It's in Brunswick Street, Fitzroy. And it's an easy tram ride from the city, which is really good. And when you get off the tram, it's right there. Okay, what else? If you're coming from the city, I believe it's the stop after the... What's it called? Naked for Satan, or... Yeah, the one after, or the one after that. And... I saw the store, it's pretty small, well small than I expected anyway, I thought it would be quite sort of biggish. I think if you want to cook something, there's definitely things you can buy, but I didn't know really what to get, plus I didn't know when I was going to come home, which I came home straight away, cause I, so I could have got cold stuff, but I didn't, I just thought I'm going to get some snacks. And I'm going to try those, do a video and stuff. Hey, Bob! Bobby! Stop it! He was just eating grass. I'm at the, I'm at the park with him now. Um, so, smaller than I thought, but they have really good stuff. Well, from what I thought, what they, from what it looked like. They had, what do you call it, like... Um, oh, it's a vegan sh shop, by the way, as you can probably tell, it's called Cruelty Free Shop. Um, has things like, I don't know what to call it, but it's like replacement foods, like macaroni and cheese, but in vegan style, has cheese, but vegan cheese, etc. And so what I got was, I will show you in another video. Oh, you're gonna, I'm going to do like a tape, oh, I think I just got stuff on me. I did like a, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to do a tasting video. Um, I got two bars, like, it's now like, they're kind of ones you can use when you go camping to, to keep you, um, like, um, like, whatever. And I got some edamame, and that was a good price, like, they were quite cheap, I thought. The two bars, I think, were like, two or three dollars each. And the edamame was about three dollars something. So, so, and some things are quite expensive though, for what I, how I feel, compared to non-vegan food. But vegan food is it is quite expensive, but it is really good and really good for your body. So if you want to have like a diet, like even just like a short-term diet, if you don't if you don't want to become vegan, which I'm not I'm not vegan, so but I like vegan food anyway. And so, for example, I I got from a different shop a coconut yogurt with banana, and it was so delicious. And I had that for like a few days, and I even lost a little bit of weight. Like, obviously, I don't need to lose weight, but I think it was actually like bloatness. I got less bloated um, from not having dairy because I didn't have dairy for a few days and I, it was just delicious. I had it after dinner before I went to bed and it was really good. Anyway, but the service was good. The lady lets you shop around and go at your own pleasure. But when you when you when I got served, she asked me if I had membership. I don't have a membership, so I said no. That was fine. Um, what else? She seemed quite friendly. Her attitude was pretty good, I thought. Um, I would probably go there again. I'll definitely, if the, definitely if the food I've got, the snacks I've got are good. If they're delicious, I'll definitely go there again. But there is a kind of health food shop that has um, similar stuff. I'm not sure they have the same brands or not, but 
Anyway, um, in Doncaster, which is near, near where I live, and um, I'll ride, I'll probably go there because I have more variety, and but um, yeah, I'll, there's there's so many health food shops and vegan kind of shops around, so just it's thing, I think it's definitely a thing to like just shop around and see what you prefer. So um, if you wanted to go to the vegan shop, I would recommend because especially if it's not in your not out of the way. So yeah, I think it's a good shop. And they also have like beauty products too, like Kester Black, which is my nail polish, gold nail polish. I was like, oh, I guess like, but no discount thing, so same prices online and at any place you get cast of black, but it has different colours than that I saw in Kyneton when I first found out that, that cast of black. Oh, by the way, cast of black is now Polish brand. Very good and um, cruelty free. So they had some purpley colours, I can't remember what else colours, they had at um, the cruelty free shop. And they have other brands. Oh, they also have handbags that are vegan. That look really nice. Like, they look like real leather. But then, obviously, not leather, like real leather, leather. But they're really nice. So, I might go now. And I'm going to post... Actually, I might do it on this video. I'm going to do the taste one on this video. So, um, I'll come back. I'll be in my, in my room. And we'll do the tasting of the edamame and the two bars and if, also if the bars are good I'm going to get some for when I go to Port Ferry for the music festival because we're doing camping so I might need some little things to have when I go back to my tent so if I get hungry it's like I need some food okay so I'll see you soon thank you bye so I'm back in my room now and I'm going to, I've got these three treats I've got the nature's protein DJ and A edamame um, I love the edamame when I go to Japanese restaurants and I could eat like 10 servings of them but I obviously just don't uh, and I got um, harvest box snack packs chaya bar it's, um, the flavour is coconut crush and anything it's gluten free um and it's Australia made and owned. Owned. These are, I think it's snacked, maybe. N A K D. Rhubarb and custard. Gluten, wheat, and dairy free. Raw fruit and nut bars. Simply yummy. It's got dates, cashews, raisins. Mm. Um, it's vegan. It's meant to be delicious. So I'm going to try these today. I'm going to have one bite and then I'll, off the video, I'll finish them. So, first, we're going to try the chai, I think you say chai, the chai bar. Now, I didn't know what to expect when I was going to the cruelty free shop. So I just went to have a look and I thought, hmm, might try a couple of things. I love coconut, so I think I might just be interesting. Now I'm going to do tell you what I think of them after I had at a bite. I'll tell you like the textures and stuff. It's quite nice. Yeah, I'm going to finish that later. Hmm. It's not much flavour, but you could have it like as, as a snack during the day. And not much, as I said, not much flavour, but, um, it's not horrible. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll let you know what I think, which one I think is best. Oh, and, um, for these chai bars, they have different flavours too, but, I like coconut, so I thought. Oh, and they have, it's all natural, The chai, these are the um, chai bars I'm talking about, and, only three calories. Oh, 
Oh, it's chocolate. I think. Oh, it smells horrible. I'm not gonna like it. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna check it out. Oh, uh, it. Okay, I'll try. Mmm. It's quite nice, actually. It's, um. Really soft, easy to eat, and out of these two, the um, Nect Bar has um, more flavour, but I like them both. I love that. Um, I'll finish those later because so. <laughs> I really thought I wouldn't like because it, it doesn't, doesn't smell very tasty, but it's actually pretty good. So, how to add edamame. Oh, oh no, I'm kind of dead. Oh, I had, um, what do you call it? Ziploc. I call it Ziploc. Like, whatever. They don't even have a zip thing. Eat, like, on here it connects. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, no MSG. Oh, no added MSG, sorry. No GMO used. Excellent dietary fiber source. Vegan friendly. Um, seems very healthy. So I want you to try just try a couple. Hmm. Yum. Um, these are easy to snack on, and not as, not salty like the ones at the restaurant, but they're good. Um, as I said before on the video, I'm going to Port Perry in March for the music festival, and I'm definitely going to get some of these snacks when I'm, I'm gone. I might get some more of these, try a few different flavours. And I'll get I'll get another packet of these <laughs> I'm proofing it to say or tomorrow. So um yeah. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Please click subscribe if you like my videos. Um and like my video if you like my video. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so weird. And feel free to comment below. Um, thank you.